Well, the White House tried to very carefully time the release of this news, but the message to Israel, they think, is quite clear. Israeli forces are still fighting around the edges of Rafah, with President Biden telling CNN now in a rare interview that they should tread carefully. If they go into Rafah, I'm not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafah. The White House has already delayed the shipment of large bombs to Israel, suggesting their use could cause excessive civilian casualties. Politically, this may be a response to the protest movement that has swept through many college campuses. Never again. Official acknowledgement of the cutoff was delayed, perhaps trying to avoid muddling the president's message earlier this week at a Holocaust remembrance event. It has incensed many Israelis. The message to Israel, the message to American allies around the world is very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate and very, a mixed message. Israel's national security minister was more pointed, posting on X, Hamas loves Biden. And while Israel does have critics in Congress, there is also bipartisan support for continuing the supply of arms. Not doing so not only undermines the security of Israel, but it also draws into question our reliability as an ally. While the larger bombs are now on hold, President Biden does say that he will continue to provide defensive aid to Israel. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.